Good afternoon. We are so happy you're here. We daily vlog. So if you like this video, come back tomorrow. We're having lunch right now. James is having yogurt and black beans and guacamole and more. Um, and I'm prepping some dinner. Ken Lauren's house earlier this week. She gave me some fresh zucchini straight from our garden. Um, so I'm chopping that up for a side dish tonight. I think I'm gonna like bake some like with mozzarella cheese on it and garlic um, alongside our pork sandwiches. If you remember, I had bought two pork tenderloins for the sauce for the red sauce that I made on Sunday, but I really only needed one. Like once I get in the pot, I was like, this is plenty. So I'm actually going to make the other pork roast tonight for sandwiches. And it's already seasoned like um, peppercorn and garlic, I think. And so I'm gonna make like a yummy tomato something on the stove to like put on the sandwiches. So gonna be like Italian-y pork sandwiches and then these zucchinis on the side. Um, and probably a salad, but that just sounds so yummy to me. Peter got really nice bread last night at Jewel, so I'm all excited. I haven't, you guys know, like we, I have really only cooked plant-based for a long time, and um, so I'm just excited to, to have a pork sandwich at home. I even chopped my tomatoes and my red onion together. I am with it this snap time, usually, I mean, Sometimes I'm not so with it, but today I'm with it. Hi. Hi. Did you have a good nap? Did you have a good nap? I just had such a humorous thing happen to me. Um, James is asleep. I'm getting ready to bring him inside, have Peter come out and help me. And literally a dude outside of his car, outside of our front door, a saw like a motorized circular saw cutting wood so I'm just gonna hang out here until Peter's ready um, James is really good at sleeping through noise but a saw I am NOT I'm not sure he's that skilled of a napper <laughs> Are your feet ticklish? Mm. We're hiding out in our room with some snacks while Dad finishes up a meeting. James, he's down. Mm. <gasps> boop, boop, boop. Mm. Mm -hmm. And now we just get some time with us. Hi. Mm. Hi. <laughs> Oh. Hi. Hi. Um. Hi. What are you doing over there? We finally watched the zombies after being so after being so obsessed with what's going on over there. Um. <laughs> their song someday that's someday. been on it's on disney well it was on disney resort this tvs this, this is the aftermath of our pampers pure <gasps> we're trying to be sponsored we're trying to be sponsored <laughs> i just reached out to pampers and they said hey we'll send you some stuff and take a picture and post it so i posted this cute picture of the boys with their with their diapers i'll i'll put it in here next to Teddy. So cute. We love Pampers Pure. Zombies 2? <laughs> it's a zombie marathon. Um, but what my post had said was that we believe that a lot of our like hurdles of infertility like were helped after we changed our lifestyle to do like 
cleaner soaps and cleaner, I mean, you guys know we're not perfect eaters by any means, but at that point we, we had been very aware of what we were eating, but we are sticking to that, like even in our household now, and obviously whatever the boys are surrounded by. And Pampers Pure diapers is such a sensitive spot that again, like we're just keeping our products clean and we really, really do love them. So we're sharing them because we've used them since James was born and not just because we want to be sponsored, Peter. <laughs> You okay? Thank you. Oh, you're so sweet. Oh, thank you. <laughs> there you go. Alrighty, friends, I'm starting up dinner. And I'm gonna start by getting these tomatoes and onions all stewed up. I'm gonna add a little bit of olive oil. There is butter in there. Minced garlic, salt, and pepper. And I'll probably actually end up adding some water too, just to get it really nice and cooked down to top our sandwiches. So next, I'm going to get the zucchini ready. I literally put olive oil in this spoon and use my finger to like lightly rub olive oil on each one because they're so thin. I don't want them to get too soggy, but I need them all to have a little bit on there. So this is kind of a, an annoying way to do it, but I'm going to do it on one side, add seasoning, and then do the other side. So I use this veggie rub on it from Traeger, which is like for a grill, but it still tastes good when you don't grill. Um, I'm gonna cook them, and at the end I'm gonna add some mozzarella cheese on top anyways. So I'm gonna take a bite, and then like if I, when I put the cheese on it, if I need to add like salt or more garlic or something, I will. So these will go in, I have it set at 350. I'm gonna check it in like 10 minutes because they are so thin. It'll probably be longer, but I'm just gonna check to make sure they don't burn. All right, the pork tenderloin is starting. I have it in the Dutch oven. I did this last time, it worked out great. Um, first you brown it on all sides on the stove top and then you bake it for 20 minutes at the 350. So it's gonna start browning up now. The tomatoes are nice and bubbly. I'm gonna turn this to low and just let it simmer and maybe I'll start the salad. Pretty simple dinner but I'm like super excited about it. Okay I did whip up a Caesar salad with homemade dressing. I will put my sister's recipe below. It doesn't have amounts it's just kind of like put in what you think and taste it um, but I will put in the description just all of the ingredients in it. I'm just gonna throw this in the fridge to keep cool. I just put the pork in the oven. It's gonna be in there for 20 minutes. And then I also flipped the zucchini. So now everything just has gotta cook. We got salad, we got pork, we got a Halloween pumpkin, pirate pumpkin. And we got a baby ready to chow. What? Where are you going? Lay going reverse. Here we go, some zucchini. Some pork sandwiches with the pesto from the other night. Looks and smells delicious. James is kind of protesting the pork, but I guarantee you once he actually eats a piece, he'll devour a whole plate. It's been his MO lately. Oh yeah. Watch zombies one, two, and three, and we loved them all. So we're gonna continue with the New York recording session. We also got some boxes just now. Unboxing a girl and a puppy. Look at this mess. Okay, Peter, you can show it when it's all organized and out, but okay. we got a little camera. It's like a blast it's, from the past. It's an actual little camera. Pocket camera. James is saying thank you from Nate and Gray Santa for selling us. A G7X Mark I, check it out. It's like going back to OG Brook Art Project life. Different Mouse Geared World. Mouse Geared World. It's like no. Disney Community, helping out Disney Community, mm -hmm. right? Love it. With some accessories and extra batteries. So starting tomorrow, back to a camera and not a cell phone. You gotta press this one. Oh, you turn it on. Good job. 
Good job. Do you remember on our old one when I drilled a hole in the side of the lens? Good times. Good times. We can do this. You can do this. Wait for it. Wait for the beat to drop. Get ready. Hey! Oh, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Also, he's been sleeping. And he's just used to all the noises in our house. I didn't even tell you. I told the vlog. When I brought the sleeping Jamesy into our house, there was a man with a circular saw out of his trunk sawing wood. <laughs> and I was like, <laughs> turn around, turn around, turn around. And I don't know if he saw me. And that's why he stopped. All right, kids are down. Um, Sarah and I spent the last like hour about getting the apartment just cleaned up. You know, it's good to do, especially because we're gonna go to the suburbs tomorrow um, during the work day and be back downtown after work. So because of that, we'll have to leave early. So it was we did a little bit of extra tidying because we won't be home tomorrow. Um, we're going to the cards. It's Friday. I think this is gonna be a two-parter. I think us watching all the zombie movies um, distracted us and hindered us from having a full vlog of a day. So we're just going to combine today's vlog and tomorrow's vlog. Also, that helps with editing time with us going to bed now and getting up early to go to the south side so Sarah won't have to spend time to edit then there with the kids or stay up late tonight making tomorrow tiring. Yeah. And we will show you what came in the second box tomorrow. It's good to be home. It's good to be home. Good morning, we're so happy you're here. We daily vlog, so if you like this video, come back tomorrow. This is my first time vlogging on the G7X. And it is so, so bizarre. It's such like a weird muscle memory thing where it feels normal. But it's just like so light, so small, so different, but also so familiar. <laughs> So weird. We're headed to my sister's house for the day. But we don't have any plans, we're just hanging out. What is so funny over there? Oh yeah, it's a weird blast from the past to be using the G7X again, but I like it. I got a cup of joe, got my work computer. My baby's snoozing still, so I'm gonna hang out with him in the living room, or not the living room, the front room, until he wakes up and then we'll move somewhere else. Not a huge meeting heavy day on this Friday, so that's good. Uh, hopefully it'll be smooth sailing. And then I think we're actually not staying here in the evening. There's, we're gonna try to go to um, like a movie in the park at one of the parks we've been to before. They're playing in Kanto tonight. Um, so we're having a fun day in the suburbs and then we'll go back to the city in the evening. I hear a ruckus. This whole thing <laughs> what are you snacking on? Vivi, can you show me what you're eating? Seaweed. <laughs> All these kids love seaweed. Thank you. Not even down the block. And we got one out. So we realized that we didn't have any plans for this weekend, but I knew that there was something. I knew that there was like something every weekend in August to look forward to. And we finally remembered it today, which I'm so happy I remembered it before and not when it was too late. But the Little Italy Taylor Street Festival is this weekend, which is exciting for us because obviously we're Italian. If you are unfamiliar with the Chicago neighborhoods, our Little Italy is right off of our college campus of UIC or University of Illinois at Chicago. That's where Peter and I went. That's where my sisters went. It's where my parents went. Um, so we're familiar with the area. We're Italian and so now we're gonna go on Sunday and I'm so excited about it. And now Jamesy is out too. I gotta see when Peter's done with his meeting to see what we're gonna do when we get back because I'm not editing the vlog. I don't have anything to spend my time doing. Grant made it's all right. microwave bows from Trader Joe's. They look delicious. My little angel sister brought me out a box of food. I already started eating it with samosas and bao. You know what this means? It's Friday, work is done. Grant thought he had practice, but he actually doesn't have yeah, practice. I messed up, but it was for the best. Yeah, so now we're actually gonna stay here. We're not going to the movies tonight. We're gonna go to the movies tomorrow night. So we're staying at the Sicards, and that's who we wanna spend our Friday night with. I think we're gonna grill. I think we grill. 
Not me. No. Somebody else. You're going to stand next to me and take credit for it, though. Yes. So we're going to build this thing for the kids to play with. <laughs> Jamesy figured out how to do a puppet. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. <laughs> We decided that we were gonna stay here for dinner and into the evening. Peter's helping Grant put up something for the kids in the backyard. Um, and I think we're gonna grill, figure out, figure out dinner here. Hi, Luca, are you done with your nap? <laughs> you wanna read some books with us? <laughs> he jumped into my arms. Do you wanna read some books? Books. Books. Say hey guys. <laughs> yeah, thank you for the hug, Jamesy. Hey, Nikki, so Luca. Chug me and that little chug. Here we go. Cool, simple little frame. Gotta adjust the ropes a little bit later, but pretty, pretty cool. Look at that, having a gas. So much fun. We're actually gonna grill tonight. We're gonna, I'm gonna go run a Pete's with James and we're gonna grab some, I think, brats and sauerkraut. Wow. They got a new swing set up back here. Is this fun? Sugar. Ooh, should we eat an apple off their tree? All right, we got flowers for mom and Aunt Sarah. We got all the things we need for dinner. We're gonna pick out a dessert and then get some firewood and then go home. But we need a dessert, right? You want cake? Yeah. Okay, let's find a cake. All right, we got hot dogs and brats on. Thank you. Are you filling up on chips? But eat your mac and cheese and your brat. All right, we're done. Hot dogs and brats cooked. Grill is off. I do a trick where I turn off the main gas line before I turn these off so it clears out the pipes. Do you like it? Is it good? Let me help you. There you go. Mmm, delicious. Good job. You did that one all by yourself. Mm, 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 mm. Good job. James is eating food with a fork. James is using a fork. Here is the rest of the feast. We got some homemade mac and cheese, a delicious Caesar salad, some watermelon. James already ate a hot dog. That's the rest of his plate. Who loves, Who loves a bun dance? Who loves a bun dance? Who loves a bun? Bun, 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 bun. Watermelon dance, bon. <laughs> Just two Disney kids who want to be in Disney World. We're home. I forget that. Like I keep forgetting we have the G Seven X now. Like I could have done some sweet dashboard. Because actually the G7X is better for dashboard cam than the M50 because the M50 is bigger. Yeah, yeah. Um, fingers crossed we think we got James in the crib still asleep and Teddy. He's snoozing so we're going to see if we can get him transferred. I think if you get him transferred into a swaddle in the bassinet quickly enough. I don't know if, did we, I don't know if I showed the flowers. Violet? Violet and I got Sarah flowers. We got Sarah and Christina flowers. Violet picked them out. Did she? Sweet. She said that today was the best day ever after we cheers slices of American cheese. That's why you guys know you're, you guys are each other's family. <laughs> this is a classic Brookhart Project move, which hasn't been done in a long time. Whew. Out on a short run. I think we're just going to do two. We'll see. Maybe. We'll see if we get to the third. I don't think we're going to the third. I think we're just going to knock out two. When was the last time I saw on the Brookhart Project Peter going, starting a run after 1130 at night? Been a while. Remember when I used to rock those like midnight runs at our first apartment in Florida? The difference between that and now is there's a nice breeze off the lake. It's not terrible. It's humid. It is humid. 
Chicago gets humid if you don't know, it does. Um, the temperature is pretty good. A little humid, but there's a little breeze. Compared to the Florida midnight runs, it would be like 93 plus 80 percent humidity even at midnight so a little different kind of conditioning that i'd experience then but um so this, is, this runs has got to be dedicated to sarah again because she was one's like hey we stayed at the cards later than we thought you were supposed to run yesterday not today but we switched that after it got too late yesterday you should probably really go on a run and I was like, I know, but at the time it was like 10.45. And was, Let's get the kid, kids in the apartment and make sure they're good and asleep. And then they went to sleep fine. And Sarah was like, you really, really should go. And I was like, I, I'm still in a spot where I can get on a good training block for Dopey. But Chicago, I'm, I'm a little behind. But the key to a marathon is conditioning body on the legs. So... We were talking about, like, hey, between now and October, because October is not that far from now, um, I still have plenty of time to try to get a lot of time on the legs and the feet. So that's what the goal is for Chicago, is to get as much time on the feet as I can. So, got to get back to running. Really quick, look at how peaceful and serene Belmont Harbor is right now. So nice. All right, Peter's back from his run. I'm just finishing up editing the vlog it's after midnight um but it'll be great tomorrow I'll just to have it done excuse my end of the day at mascara um i mentioned yesterday in the vlog that we would share with you what else we got in the mail and like peter had mentioned i'd reached out to pampers i also reached out to a company called tubby todd that makes like um soaps and lotions and products and stuff clean for kids and babies and so uh, I reached out to both of them and they're gonna they said that they'd send us some stuff to try out too so i will share more about that after we've actually used it i've heard great things about it but we've never used it ourselves and um i want to get to know it before we share it so that is exciting and i feel like do i have anything else to say oh yeah it's so nice today felt like sunday because we were at my sister's it's so nice that it is Friday. So happy weekending. Have fun with whatever you're doing this weekend. Um, and we're excited to share what we're doing. So I will sign off for us here. It is good to be home. We know what our goals are. We know what we hope to accomplish. And believe me, it's the most exciting and challenging assignment we've ever tackled at Walt Disney Productions. <laughs>